Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Jellylicious. I'm going to be showing you how you can achieve this um, Cadbury's Marvelous Creation Jelly Popping Candy um, Chocolate Nail Tutorial today. So I'm just writing out the Cadbury sign. So you want to make sure um, all your nails are purple except one which um, is going to be white. So I'm just copying out this Cadbury sign. I just find it much easier doing it with a Sharpie pen as opposed to trying to do it with um, a brush. And plus, um, I don't particularly have a gold polish. I've got a metallic one, but the um, process to put that on is not the same as just applying polish. So you just want to be um, adding your striping tape, you want to be putting two next to each other so it's a thicker line and just apply them on the nail like I'm showing you now. So when it's all on make sure you go over it and fully press and make sure that it's um, fully onto your nail. Then I'm putting the purple on, I'm using Sally Hansen Insta Dry and it's called Pronto Purple. And then before it dries, you just want to get your tweezers and pull off. I found it really easy using this Ali Hansen um, Insta Dry, and this is probably the easiest that I've I've done with um, with striping tape. And you really did get some sharp lines with it. And obviously because it's a darker colour, it was um, really good coverage as well on the nail. Just going to get these last two off. So then I'm just using white just to make sure that it shows up properly. Um, so I'm just sort of putting... Uh, splodges really all over the nail um, but these will become the sort of jelly and the popping candy. Uh, if you've not tasted this chocolate by the way I suggest you go out to the shop instantly and buy some. It is the most fabulous tasting chocolate I've had in a long long time. It is gorgeous. In fact it's scarily gorgeous because I could end up putting on tons of weight because it is so lovely to eat. So you just go in with the dotting tool and you're adding smaller dots. It's just like the sort of crumbs meant to be, you know, exploding. That's what it looks like on the package anyway. And then I'm just going in with even smaller dots with my toothpick. So I'm using acrylic paints. So I've mixed my dark brown with my white. And it almost looks like you're putting milk chocolate onto your nail. So just on some of them, I'm just making it look like the candies have um, sort of split open. And then again, using my acrylic paints, I'm just putting in the different colours. So this is like a lighter pink. So I'm just going to put the dashes of the colour all over the nail on the different sort of dots. So I'm going in with um, my sort of ready raspberry colour. So you just continue to add the colour to the nail. I'm going in with the yellow. You just decide where you want the colour. I'm just picking the colours that are on the um, Cadbury's wrapper. And then to finish it off, I'm going to fill in the rest of the white with this blue. So 
So you're going to have some tasty looking nails at the end of this tutorial. And then again, using the um, white and brown that I've mixed together, I'm just sort of doing a bit of a jagged outline halfway through the nail and this is actually going to be the chocolate bar. So you just want to um, fill in the rest of the nail and wait for it to dry. It will go matte when it's fully dry and I'm going in with my brown acrylic paint. I haven't added anything to it. And then you're just doing the outline of the chocolate bar. I'm just going to go around this outline. like so and so then some of them I'm going to actually just fill with the darker chocolate it just adds a, some more effect and then I'm just putting sort of dashes and dots just to sort of add a sort of textured look to the chocolates You can do this however you like. This is just how I'm choosing to do it. And then that's it. You just want to apply all your nails with your top coat. I'm actually using the gel top coat. It's just going to last longer. Continue to apply it to your nail when sealing the free edge. And you want to take your lint free pad and your prep and wipe and remove the tacky layer. So this is the end look. You're going to have some gorgeous looking uh, nails with this tutorial. So if you like this design, then please like, comment, share and subscribe. It means so much to me when you do. I hope you have a lovely day. Bye.